Cap Gemini is committed to develop a sustainable environment. We are more focused towards not only sustainable in energy consumption but also sustainable in energy production. We had installed one megawatt solar plant in this campus. So 30% of the energy consumed within this campus is green energy. The most significant aspect of this uh, campus is we have a hostel facility with 300 rooms. We don't use uh, heaters in this hostel. We have hot water generator chillers. We had adopted some of the best practices like uh, we have uh, variable speed chillers. We also have variable speed primary pumping systems which can give uh, good efficiency in terms of HVAC operations. It's a privilege to be part of the top 10 projects in India and we hope we gain through this experience and implement some of the other energy conservation measures in our upcoming projects. So the project which we are talking about is actually an experimental facility. Uh, more like a living lab. Being a part of an uh, academic institute, uh, we want to create space where students can learn and explore about building energy efficiency. In terms of HVAC systems, we have thermally activated ceilings along with the dedicated outdoor air system. We downsized our building so much so that we need to rely less and less on energy systems or mechanical systems and electrical systems. We feel that it's extremely important to create a contextual knowledge for our nation in partnership with the government and industry. Energy efficiency is a key for the metro operations. About 40% input cost is from the energy side. You will appreciate that underground nothing is natural. Light, air, everything is to be provided and therefore need energy. How to reduce the consumption of energy? Out of 35, you can say 20% is consumed by the air condition. So some steps were to be taken. So our emphasis on energy has been saving of the energy, which is only thing we can do for reducing the energy cost and operating cost. There was no other option. Well, energy efficiency is the need of our. There is no doubt about it. And energy saved is energy generated that is there. Every successful business is a vision and merit is uh, having the same saying the way you do your business is as important as the business you do and energy saving and uh, environment it is a core value for us to take care of it. As an engineer, such a, as a business person it is important we provide the luxury and at the same time save energy on the plant to consumptions. Entire HVAC system, whether it's a condenser water, chilled water, uh, or the cooling towers, or all the AHUs, everything is on the VFD. So more responsible with dealing with energy and energy conservation and cleaner energy, we have only this one Earth, and we need to take care of it. In this building, when we say HVAC, first of all, we facilitated HVAC to be more efficient. Now, facilitating in the form of making a large open area and making way for the wind to flow uninhibited. Secondly, we have used chilled beam systems. Now, chilled beam systems is basically a system which use minimal of energy or in fact no energy because it does not have a mechanical part in it. And hence, we conserve energy over there as well. Thirdly, we have used geothermal energy system 
whatever water comes out from the HVA system cools down while traveling 30 kilometers within the same premises, thereby conserving energy and reduces the need of the cooling towers. और टोटल एरिया इसका कंस्ट्रक्शन 30,000 स्क्वायर मीटर है इसके अंदर जो भी एनर्जी यूज हो रही है वो उसका प्रोडक्शन टोटल टोटल इस बिल्डिंग के ऊपर सोलर पैनल लगा कर किया जा रहा है जो ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड हाई एफिशिएंसी पैनल्स को यूज किया गया है वी जस्ट डोंट नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ओनली द बिल्डिंग्स वी नीड टू गिफ्ट इट टू आवर फ्यूचर जनरेशन सो दैट दे केन एंजॉय लिविंग इन अ बेटर वे ऑन आर प्लानट This can happen only with sustainable energy. So that's why energy efficiency is one of the most important thing and we need to look at in every walk of life. What we have done over the last 8 years is we have stretched the boundaries in every single field. Uh, whether it is building facade lighting system air conditioning system or electrical system and we have improved efficiencies of our buildings by 60 to 70% in terms of energy consumption and we have not incurred any additional cost that's because we have undertaken a holistic approach from the concept design stage the most important thing should be performance monitoring so we have been very very particular about monitoring all our energy consumption water consumption waste generation everything so this is what has given us very clear insights into how much we are consuming where and where are the opportunities to reduce energy initiatives like this uh, hall of fame puts buildings in a position where other companies can say okay i want to aspire to be uh, like this building and of course we are very happy to be in the top 10 and uh, uh, we hope we do well So for Infosys, uh, sustainability is an imperative. It's a way of life for us. So I thought there was a need for a good quality office. We looked at a holistic approach on reducing energy and improving customer satisfaction and delight. Having an atmosphere where health is equally important, it's not only 100% technology driven. I said to myself that look, as far as the world is concerned, it is not sustainable at the rate at which we are going not only energy but we are focusing on two things together and that is wellness and health and productivity cognitive abilities we are looking at making building smart at the lowest cost from day 1 we were focusing on environment as good as commercial aspect that is where we have got into the screen building technology we have done renewable energy installations in the campus all the six towers that installed with solar which generates almost 1 megawatt of power within the campus we have gone for vfts for all that equipments even the smallest motor in a campus is the ahu motor we have about 360 ahu motors even to that level we have gone for vfd systems it's really efficient i personally feel many developers can adopt many of these initiatives and they may implement such things in their premise also Reliance has developed and installed huge big data centers with 14.4 megawatt of IT load capacity. As far as green campus is concerned, recently this campus has been certified by Green Building Council of India as the platinum rated best campus of India. For example, when we thought of using chill water at 20 degree centigrade It was a big surprise for all chiller manufacturer that one way you are talking chill water and you are talking of temperature of 20 degree centigrade 
then we said yes nobody in the world was ready to manufacture that type of chiller only few chiller manufacturer came forward they understood the requirement and number of chillers to going to be required and they agreed to manufacture and i'm proud to announce that first time in india or anywhere in the world 20 degree chill water system has been installed we at reliance are proud to have such high energy efficient data center we have a big expansion plan in future to construct few more such data center even more efficient Bosch since it is committed for energy conservation measures we have no hesitation in investing in right technology right at the time of building design we have placed all our workplaces in the north and south so that the west and east harsh sunlight doesn't hit the working areas also we have gone in for pv solar units on the rooftop 140 kilowatt We have also adopted variable VAVs and VFDs for HVAC system, which are energy efficient, and BMS for controlling HVAC as a centralized unit. We need to adopt right technology to attain the energy efficiency to meet the customer expectations. We need to create uh, smart buildings.